One of my uh, Soviet era mementos, a Soviet pin. Why am I showing you this? Because it's always lying on my desk, and I notice that whenever I talk on the telephone, I play with it. I play with it. I fidget with it. Well, to tell you the truth, until uh, very recently, I didn't give much thought to fidgeting. But now, all of a sudden, fidgeting is all over the place. Why? Because there are devices that are cropping up in toy stores and on the web, and these are the fidget spinners. Kids are playing with it. Teachers don't want them in the classroom because they say that they are distracting the kids. Well, interestingly enough, now that I've been looking into this, fidget toys have been around a long time in a medical connection. The notion has been that they can actually help with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or with stress relief. There are all kinds of things on the market. Oh, there are oranges that you can squeeze. There are hearts that you can squeeze. There are light bulbs that you can squeeze. There are pigs that you can squeeze. There are mice that you can squeeze, all kinds of toys. And there are ones that are speci specifically designed for attention deficit disorder, like this thing here, which is a fidget cube, got all kinds of things that you can play with. And there are these magnetic things that you can uh, fidget with. So it's pretty interesting stuff. The question is, is there really science behind it? There have been studies and uh, it's kind of all over the place, but it's mostly based on anecdotal evidence. Teachers and parents say that if they have kids who are very, very active, uh, if their attention is focused on one thing, like spinning, then they can pay attention to something else better. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of debatable whether or not that's true, but uh, what is for sure true is that these things have become a fad. They are all over the place. Kids are, are playing with them. And I must say that uh, I kind of enjoy it. When you get a good spin out of it, it's like hitting a baseball with the sweet spot on, on the bat. And you can kind of sit there watching TV and fiddle away and might think that this is a silly thing to do, but actually it's a great deal of fun. So uh, we'll be keeping an eye on whether or not there's any signs that emerges from, from all of this and uh, whether or not we can uh, maybe design even better toys, fidget toys that keep kids' attention. For me, uh, I get the most satisfaction out of squeezing quacks. Mm, that's good.